Hey guys, what is up? Everybody has been having a great day. Just got back from Bryson DeChambeau's house and I realized that I didn't film an intro and I thought this would be a video that might need an intro. So as I've been getting more and more serious about golf, I've been exploring new ways to kind of fast track the improvement process. And one of those was this, this the way of putting at Bryson putts where he kind of has the grip on, alongside of his forearm and it's very upright. And so this is kind of a, the video you guys are about to see is this little practice session where I'm learning this technique and I really thought it was awesome. I loved it. I highly recommend you guys try it out. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys next time. Or what I feel cool. So I'll show you what I feel. Right. And I developed this. This is like, this is what I do. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Here, let me show you. And I can tell you. What? That we did it too. It's uh, abs. Tighten up 100%. And right. then release completely. And then just engage. It's right. about 30. So you're still utilizing your arms. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So, and that's like from long drive. I'm just so used to generating and, and that's fine. arm speed. That's fine. So watch how I do it. My arms are literally locked against my chest, and I raise and the left mind. shoulder up, and the right arm goes down. I straighten the right arm, raise the locked place, and I use the upper segment of my, of my spine to move. So your motive is to lock everything up, except for the core moving. So you, you're you rotating with your abdominals, and everything is just following everything. Yeah, it's like a machine. So I was watching his robot one day, and I'm like, man, it's so cool if I could just simulate just the upper segment moving. And I did this and I locked my chest and I'm like, why can't I just do that? And I locked and I was like, oh my god, this is like, so much more people. And that's the thing I would describe your cutting as when I watch videos. It's just robotic. There's no flux. Yeah, and, and people, think it's, people think it's mechanical. It's, it's uh, yeah, I mean it is. You could say it is, but to me it's natural. It feels really comfortable because I know I can repeat motion. It's because you've repeated it a lot to the point where it's natural. Well, not even that. When I got in that state, I was like, this is easy to repeat. That's too, right? That's the difference. Yes. It's not. It's not that I trained it. It's like once I got into the position, I was like, "This is a better way to putt. This is an easier way to putt." So you're here to lock your so so lock your arms into your chest. Yep. You don't have to squeeze too hard, but just feel like it's into it, and just feel like this upper segment is rotating. Yep. Without the lower segment rotating, so keep the lower segment still. So it's it's really just focusing on yeah yeah. So it's really focusing on. This section moving back and through. Yeah, without the hips moving. So go move it, move your chest. Yes. There you go. And consequently, because of this, your head stays still, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. And you can focus on keeping it more still if you want. But like for the most part, my head still moves when I talk. And you know, I, I really believe a lot of the head movement and a lot of the dip I have in my chips is hips. It's from these my lower body firing. So oh, yeah. used to firing. I don't know, like pushing yeah. really hard. Yeah. That's something I think. That's something probably worth um, doing when I get back is really trying to eliminate like no movement in the lower body when I'm doing anything. Fun. That's not a drive. That's what I did. So lock your knees in place. So literally lock your knees in place. Oh, no, don't, don't straighten them. Don't straighten them. Just bend them, bend them, and then like lock them, tense them up so you, you can't move them. Show me anything. Yes. That was really good. Right, so what was the name of that machine that we had to uh, fix with the weld that we had you in in uh, out in Dragonfly? Do you remember that, the putting? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> it was that bar, yeah, this whole bar it's like, yeah, like that. Like, oh, I just, I think I just did something for a few minutes. We'll get so here's what I just did. I took knees, they rotated yes, them in I've done like that. that. Before. Mm -hmm. And that completely locks, locks up yep, I've done that any before. movement from my lower body. And so the biggest problem I have, especially with dipping the chip yeah. shot, so when I hit a long drive club, mm -hmm. I push and extend with my knees. Mm -hmm. And so by rotating them inward and locking them in there, it literally keeps them from, and that's before. the lower. So what I just realized is this dip in the chip and movement in my upper body, it's not because my body, it's because my lower body and my moves is dipping and my body's following. Mm -hmm. there. So you start to experience these things that correlate with different things. And that makes so just, much sense. It just starts to happen. You start to see, oh my god, that's that's the reason why this happens in this area, or that's the reason why this happens in this area, or vice versa. It just you start to see a big flow in, in the game. And it's probably a good thing to a certain yardage to have that dip. 
maybe in, outside of 100 yards. Yeah, but it should be natural progression of it just getting out when you're hitting chip shots. Yeah, I think inside 50 yards should be like a cutoff where I just block the knees up well, and just chip the shot. So I would, I would say it would proportionally go down as you go into your wedges. So yes. like, you won't see like, okay, 100 yards and I won't do it. It's more of, I do it less than 150 yard shot, I do it even less, I do the 100 yard shot less than I do the 150 yard shot, I do the 50 yard shot less than I do the 100 yard it's shot. It's kind of a feel thing. It, 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 it just slowly progresses into nothing when you're with your putting. So well, you have one in the spectrum, you have two in the spectrum, you have you know, one with no motion, another with everything. And you, and you mesh it. it makes yeah, so much sense. Show, yeah, but hit a 40 foot putt. Well, 40 footers don't yeah, 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 so, so, like, if I'm hitting watch, footer, watch this. It's 40 footers instead of. My 40 footers, I mean, I have open stance here, and it's a little bit of knee, knee motion to let the acceleration profile be the same. Because there's a limit to how long you can continue, like, completely straight I mean, like that. Yeah, because I can't, you know, do that, right? Yeah. Right? So, it's going to have to be more of a motion like this. Especially when I'm digging that far back, mm -hmm. you know, as I go through, see how everything kind of moves through with it. But that's after the strikes, with the hit and then move through. So it's not, it doesn't just ultimately stop real quick. And it's it something you learn just through kind of trial and error. Literally, what's the best way to do it? Yeah, and getting on that it system and measuring those putts when we were hitting them at 40, 50, 60 feet. Shoot, well, as a British, we were doing 100, 100 foot putts. 100 foot putts. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe how much it. this changes things should be with locking the knees and rotating them internally oh, yeah. like that. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, it makes a difference, dude. So now you can start gauging, like, what's going on. You're going to be, it's going to be really a conscious yeah, thought at first. see what's going on here. Okay, so get, address it again, like you just had it. Go. See, so this is what I want you to feel like, that your feet are tree trunks and now they are rooted and grown into the ground. So you have a stable base. It does not matter which way that I tug on you. Now, from there, make that putting stroke. Now you have the stable base, but you're not doing anything in an odd manner by putting it and trying to get to end range. So that way, now just loosen it up a little bit because we're gonna go to some extremes, right? Mm -hmm. So if that was 100%, now just give it to where you're comfortable. Yes, like that. And now I can tell you that the, the head movement is, it doesn't exist right. at that point. And you're not having to do something that would potentially hinder the longer putts. Because then you could just loosen up a little bit more on the longer putts. And by the time you do it, it's just going to fill up. But stable base, man. Tree trunks. Gosh, let's record that. I don't know what's going on. Just jump out. The ground, as opposed to that twist out. Means that was that was so good. Good. Yeah. Did you hear what he just said? That, that roll was as good as you can get. The cadence was really good too. As good as it can get. That's a pretty strong word coming from the NES Open Champion. But. Like I said, anybody, like you said, anybody can shoot 65 and shoot 65 again. Yeah, there you go. Hit us another yeah. one like that. <laughs> Just like getting the 212. Dude, I, I'm the same way it's with like you. Like, what are you doing? What do you mean? Shagging balls? He just wants to be in the shot a little more. No, oh, no. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think that one. This is half a the right side. I mean the right edge, sorry. Just trying to make sure I've got the grip too. That might be something to do is also check the grip too. Right. Before you set it to the ball. Yeah, make sure it's in that the widest part. Coverage. That might be like a catalog of these from the checks. Mm -hmm. So the launch is too hot. I can see from here. What's that? So we'll get you dialed in. With ball positions, yeah, too far forward. Yeah. Put it for the back. End. Yeah. I mean, well, because I've cut across the last two. It should be half plot side the right edge. Okay. Yeah, you don't yeah. have a problem with aim anymore. Yeah, that's better. This is. Put it a little further back. That part of it is too yeah, easy. Really Beautiful. Mm. Then. Now, okay, now go it, over here. It would start end over end. Yeah. Because you want him to go over here? Is it a straight putt? 
No. No, it's like a cup and a quarter out. He wants me to suffer. No, no, no. But it depends how hard you hit. Yeah. It's so like right there okay. with like no, this with my speed. Put the toe oh, on the board. Board. against the board. Yeah. When the, oh, no, the opposite side. Yeah. No, no. Set it down on this side. Oh, sure. Oh, and then keep the toe on it, just, just lightly grazing it. No, you gotta move your chest though with it. Don't move the chest. No, no, move the chest with it. Let me show you. Yeah, but then you be, yeah, but there's a natural arc too, so you don't want to hold it off. Because he'd be, yeah, it's coming apart. He, he's gonna be, ch you would be holding it off to do that. Homie, just. I got you. Homie, don't play that. Okay, so he's going, yes, it's off the board. Well, I can do this too. Yeah, I know. Alright, manipulate. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And then I take it off just a little bit and I just keep it, just graze it. I personally so you, want to. You take it just off, you trace it. So you're kind of feeling it without any kind of felt. Hold on, why is this thing like that? Hold so, I wouldn't try to dye it ever. I was just kind of messing around with the bridge yeah. and I'm just yeah. trying to sh For sure. my eye to see different stuff. Sure. Yeah. I would teach your IDC two feet by all the time, no matter yeah. what. Probably it's similar distance to that. That is perfect distance. Yeah. It's close to perfect distance. Well, no, it makes a lot of sense because you know the lumpy donut effect is real. It is, and, and the only time yeah. when you do it is when you're a three putt protection. Donuts. The, the only the only time you're doing it is with three putt protection. If it's on a three percent, four percent downhill on a step eleven and a half to twelve, yeah, that's pretty And you're like, there's just no need to miss it. I don't want to have this thing be five feet by the hole. I want it to at least be. A foot to two feet by. And you're just you're just hedging your bet. It's the only time when you do that. All otherwise, you just you ram it two feet by. So we go to state there. I don't know. That's called Rodney National. What's the state? Rodney. We got dinner. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I'm the first thing for you to do uh, is rest this against here and to make this, sure it doesn't get, slide. Get this perfect for it before I step into the putt. Feel like you bend your right wrist here, and where you're pushing it into the and the yeah, no, no, no. yeah. kind of push it. Check okay. this out. Let me help you out. Oh, so you feel like when you're doing it, kind of push just it just against. Slap it against. Yeah, remember that. Where well, I put my thumb finger in there. Yeah. Told you to push. That was the lever. Yep. So you want to feel like it's boom. So this wrist is going that way, and this wrist is going right. Uh, so you get in here and all you do is just go boom, it's locked. Now it's locked. Yeah. So just make sure he did that before though and it slid off the back. That was a good putt, it rolled. Like, so his because uh, no, he doesn't have a lie angle right yet. He was playing it like this, down yeah. and off the back, even though he was pressing. Oh, he's also in the fingers probably. Mm -hmm. So there. So watch this. And, watch and this. his is gonna have to be turned different. Watch this. Boom. Now, now grip with the finger. Or in the palm side. Yeah. I got some. Yes. I got some for you though. Oh, so get the right wrist. <laughs> See how I grip it? Grip it all the way down. I don't grip it like that. So it's kind of like there's no overlap in the fingers. It's, it's literally in the left line. Yeah. You can overlap still. But you're saying you're, you're kind of on each side of the grip. On each side of the left line. Just to keep make it easier. <laughs> So you're saying like kind of like that? Yeah, just let it go in the palms. Okay. So don't hold the palms. Again. Just, just grab right the palms. But both, both hands in the palm of that grip. So like. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 It would be nice if I had this happen when I was 16. <laughs> Trust me, I'm thinking this. I, 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 Believe me. Believe me when I tell you. <laughs>